Christmas 1, passed. The library was empty that Thursday. The electric storm had flooded the streets and taken the lights off. An old chandelier held three thick candles next to me. I had finished my investigation, nevertheless I was delaying my departure because of the weather. I found a book of tales and read some. They were short and thrilling. At some uncertain time, a man sat at the other extreme of the table. Dressed in black, he hid in the shadows. He was not looking at me in a direct way, though I started feeling observed and uncomfortable. Suddenly, I closed the book and returned it to its shelf. When I was spinning on my heels I saw his face in front of mine and shouted in. His sight was threatening as a hypnotist. I fought hard to free my mind of it. Suddenly, I was in another place. Grass below my feet and starry sky above my head. I could see a little house in the distance. I run to it. Beside the house, there was a huge pine, like 20 feet tall, decorated with white lights. I stopped my run all at once, it was my grandparents' house. My mind was confused and my chest, pressed. I walk slow. Under the gallery eaves, women were organizing the dinner. Men were round the fire. My little brothers were running with some cousins but I couldn't find my mother. I entered to the house and saw a beautiful woman, dark hair, pale skin and green eyes. She smiled. Grandma. She didn't see me, lost in time and love. So I went to her room to find my mother hiding a lot of presents. Then, she took a doll, wrapped it with a plastic gift paper and put a red bow on it. The door opened fast and a little girl with orange hair entered. My mother hid the gift soon, asked her to go out and checked on the boys. She nodded and closed the door after her. I left the house and sat on the grass, beside him, to see the whole animated picture. I stood for dinner until midnight, when Santa comes and the presents appear magically under the tree. When all the family joins and two aunts call the names, one by one, to get the packages. And the little girl received a present with red bow that wrapped a truth in the last Christmas under the tree.